When we have several shifts to execute in a row, it's easy to get overwhelmed. To become rock solid in my understanding of the positions in a whole passage, I like to practice just the most necessary information, or the skeleton as I like to call it. After I practice the outline, I can connect the dots and fill in the remaining pitches of the passage later. Let me show you how this works. Let's look at a particularly thorny passage of Mozart Concerto No. 5. It goes like this. Okay, so what's happening in that passage, besides a lot of notes, is that you're moving from third to fifth to seventh positions, and then actually I have a backward extension to sixth, which um, just complicates matters. So I'm going to just um, outline what I think is really important information to be able to do seamlessly. <laughs> If I want to change bows at the same time, which is actually how it appears in the original, so I think that's kind of fundamental, being able to do the sequence of what positions you're doing just in a row on the fingers that you're actually going to be landing on. And then, when you feel confident with that outline, you can try to put it back together and connect the dots by playing all the in-between notes and see if it's more seamless for you.